What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paris and I make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business, Lady Simone Candle Co. Today I'm super excited to be collaborating with General Wax and Candle Company, a candle company that offers a big selection of candle making products at the wholesale price. They are located and based out of California. So they have sent me a variety of vessels and fragrance oils so that I can unbox and review for you and offer my opinion. So that is what today's video is about. So let's just get started. So I have my laptop off to the side here along with all the products. I have my laptop out because they have sent me a list of the products and the names so I don't want to butcher it. And then also while I was communicating with them, I also asked them to give me some WIC recommendations for my subscribers because usually when you're working with new vessels or wax or whatever, WIC recommendations are super helpful. So I made sure I snagged that for you guys as well. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started with the review. First, they sent me some clamshell molds. So this is pretty self-explanatory, nothing really to review. I have worked with different brands of clamshell molds. Now I, um, you know, buy them obviously in bulk, <laughs> but as a beginner, you know, I just pretty much purchase from candle suppliers just like everybody else. Um, but they offer clamshell molds, the six um, cube cavity standard wax melt clamshell molds um, on their website. And um, let me see if there is a price here. So these are 58 cents each. So not bad for, well, not bad at all for um, a wholesale price for clamshell molds, um, especially when you're buying in bulk. So take a look at their website. The more you buy, obviously, the more you save. So you can get them as low as 58 cents each, depending on how many you purchase. Next is their Havana Clear Candle Jar. This is a 14 ounce and it holds 10 ounces of wax comfortably comfortably meaning for any newbies out there in the candle making world comfortably means with the wick trimmed and with a lid on so it holds 10 ounces to the fill line even though there's not a fill line here it does tell you on the website that it holds 10 ounces so that's a great head start when it comes to working out your formula to determine um, how much wax and fragrance oil you need to fill up 10 ounces to the fill line. So this is their 14 ounce Havana clear jar. Very, very beautiful actually. It's glass. Is it so glass? perfect for labeling here. And then it comes with, well, it fits a beautiful gold lid. And let me see if I can find the lid. Yes, so these fit the 14 ounces. These are their gold lids. So this fits, fits their 14 ounce jar. It's very, very pretty, very luxe. You can definitely make this very luxe um, depending on how your label look, especially if you do maybe like a glossy type finish for your labels. Um, this can definitely pass for an upscale line. Um, and you can definitely price this at um, a much higher price than just like a standard regular vessel um, for your product line. I forgot to mention the price. So you can get it as low as $1.49 each, obviously, depending on how many you purchase. And then for the lids, let me see the price for that. They're as low as $1.99 obviously depending on how much in bulk you purchase. The more you buy, the more um, you can save. So this jar is their Montesiano clear glass vessel. You can get this as low as 99 cents each and it holds seven ounces of wax comfortably. So that's with the wick trimmed and um, with a lid. And so, that is what it looks like. Just a standard glass jar and it holds seven ounces. A lot of room for 
making this an upscale candle. So, you know, I, I typically love glass jars when it comes to vessels or matte um, colored jars, like a matte black or a matte white, because it leaves you a lot of room to make it very upscale. And I say that meaning like, depending on the lid, depending on how you design your labels, you can definitely charge a price um, more in that mid to high market range when it comes to building out your product line and trying to figure out who, who your target market is and who you want to sell to. Working with clear jars um, with beautiful lids such as this that has a beautiful finish to it um, or matte jars, vessels, you can it leaves a lot of room to, to definitely make like a more of a luxe and upscale line. The last um, clear jar that they sent me, and by the way, they sent me like two of each vessel. So I have like two of each jar that I'm talking about. But this is their 14 ounce aristocrat glass jar vessel. And I love the names of their vessels. It's very like, you know, like real upscale bougie names like aristocrat or Monticiano. Like I just love the names of the jars. But here is this one. And I actually, these are like one of my favorite type of glass jars. Any jar that kind of has that bubble effect on the bottom, if you can kind of see what I'm talking about, it kind of has that mirror effect. I love these type of jars that are made like this because it just looks so elegant when it comes to decor. Like jars like this, and let me see, I think this is a 14 ounce, so it should be able to fit this. Does it fit this lid? No, it doesn't fit this lid. So it just fits that one. But um, I was just curious because it was a 14 ounce as well. But this holds, let's see, you can get this as low as $1.39 and it holds up to 11 ounces of wax. Yes, 11 ounces of wax. So I just want to make sure I got that right. But I love these type of jars that kind of give that bubble effect at the bottom. And I say that because it just looks so beautiful with decor. Like I um, tested with these type of jars before that looks like this. And I just, I just love the way it looks in like a nice clean, you just cleaned your living room and everything is just spotless. You have beautiful, you know, minimal decorations and sitting a glass jar like this with a beautiful lid lovely minimal label you can definitely get away with um, putting a nice price tag on this for selling it next is the matte white it's a 14 ounce and it can hold um let's see does it say it on here it does not say it on here but it should, oh, does looking right at me, smack me right in my face. 10 ounces of wax comfortably. And um, it also says that it's, um, let me see, it should be compatible. Yes, it is compatible with the lids for the other jar. And they also have beautiful gift boxes that you can um, purchase with this. But isn't that gorge? Like, y'all, that is beautiful. And I also have the same type of jar in black. So I'm actually about to put the gold lid on the black. Oh, that is beautiful. I love this. Don't this look so upscale and luxe? Like, how gorgeous is that? Now I'm up here trying to think like, should I come out with like a luxury line? Like, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. You can get these for as low as $1.79 each. Um, and yeah, beautiful. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. I love their gift boxes. I wish I could turn my, um, I wish I could turn my uh, laptop around, but they have beautiful gift boxes. And I'm actually noticing that they have rose gold lids, these type of lids, but in rose gold. So make sure you check check out their gift set boxes um, and their other color lids. The rose gold is gorgeous too. I'm a sucker for gold, rose gold color. So check that out. But that is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It also glass. I love the matte. Doesn't look like it scratches easy because I hate that cheap paint. Just being real. 
Just saying, I hate the cheap paint on the jars and it just, it's just, it looks cheap. So this looks very, very high end, very high quality. Now for some fragrance oil reviews. Y'all, if y'all are like me, I'm a fragrance oil hoarder. I have a problem. But then again, I don't have a problem because I'm a candle maker. That's just what we do. Like no shame in my game at all. But they have sent over one, two, three, four, five, six fragrance oils for me to check out along with their names and um then i'm going to run through the wick recommendations for the jars so that way just in case you decide to check out their website you kind of already know what wick pairs well with that jar and actually as i was looking on each product page they also put the wick recommendation on there too so you can get it from me and the website but the first fragrance oil is called citrus paradise um, I love that they have um, the fragrance oil percentages that they recommend um, for candles. So they have um, the flashpoint on here, and then they also give you a recommended percentage depending on the type of wax you use, because every type of wax cannot handle every type of fragrance oil percentage. But this is called Citrus Paradise. This is what it looks like. And let's see. Oh, now this is bomb <laughs> this smells so it's very citrusy so it reminds you of like fresh tangerines fresh mandarins like you just made some fresh like orange juice but with um but also very like spa like you know what i mean like let's say you at the spa and they just handed you a drink with like a orange wedge on it it gives you that vibe so let me click and see what the notes are here for this fragrance oil so the top notes are strawberries grapefruit and orange tangerine boom i was right on it middle notes are plums black currant and green apple and the base notes are fresh white violet raspberry vanilla and soft sandalwood i can get a hint of that woodsy in there kind of that after smell uh, but it's very very lovely very it just reminds you like you're sitting at you know a spa you're about to get a massage and they just gave you a bowl of fruit you got your ice water with your orange wedge sitting on the corner of your glass love this oh my gosh like this is amazing this is the four ounce bottle is 750 this is the four ounce bottle this is seven dollars and fifty cents um and then of course, the bigger the bottle, the more you're gonna pay. The 16 ounce bottle is actually $24.99. $24 so that is the Citrus Paradise. Next fragrance oil is called Autumn Dreams. So it looks like it is a two ounce bottle and it runs for $3.75. Mm, this just smells like the best fall day of your life. So it's it's got some cinnamon tones in it um and it just it it's real pumpkin-y as well it just reminds you like somebody's baking like sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie with cinnamon and it has a little musk undertone as well um so the top notes are apple berry and leafy green the middle notes are tea rose um, clove, cinnamon, birch wood, and then the base notes are cedar and musk. So it definitely has woodsy undertones. It's almost like you're walking through, you know, fresh fall leaves, a pumpkin patch, you know, with some stints, uh, hints of cinnamon thrown in there as well. Definitely a beautiful fall scent. It's very cozy. Um, it kind of gives you that vibe like you're in the living room. Um, you know, you got your fireplace going, you're drinking some. I don't know, some hot chocolate with some, you know, whipped cream and cinnamon sprinkled on top and you're like watching movies in your blanket and you're just real cozy with your family. So it definitely gives you that vibe, a beautiful, beautiful fall scent for sure. The next scent is Blooming Bouquet Ultra. That is what it looks like. It's another two ounce bottle and it goes for $4.50. And this literally smells like a bouquet of flowers, like fresh cut roses. 
it is a very floral scent so if you're not into florals this won't be for you but if you're a floral kind of girl um, you would definitely love this it really smells like some fresh cut roses but with some sweetness in there um, the top notes are mandarin bergamot and apricot so there's the sweetness from the the fruits and then you got some middle notes rose petals jasmine and peak peony and then base notes is white musk, amber, and peach. So there's a little sweetness with the fruit, but it also is very strong with the floral. So if you're not a floral person, you're not gonna love it. But if you are, I, I tend to gravitate to floral, so it just depends on the strength. Um, but this smells very, very good. Next, we have Ethereal Waters. This is what it looks like. Two ounce bottle again, and for $3.75. Mm, this this is nice very subtle so it's not a pow in your face fragrance um, the notes are very um, aquatic aquatic if that makes sense and I say aquatic because it's real it gives you that ocean ocean sea vibes um, yeah very very subtle it gives you ocean vibes like you're sitting at sea and the waters, that, that, that smell you get where the waters are just very light and cool. That's kind of what this gives you. The top notes are passion fruit, aquatic breeze. How ironic. <laughs> Mandora, citrus, sea salt. Um, middle notes are peony, lily of the valley, magnolia, sweet, conifer. Never heard of that before. Base notes is vanilla orchid, white musk, and orris. So very subtle if you like subtle yet sweet scents um this is a very very nice nice scent i'm wondering how it would do um once you actually get it in wax though sometimes fragrance oils tend to lose their punch once they're added to hot wax so i'm very curious how this acts um i'll definitely be doing some demos with these fragrances anyway um testing in my kitchen and things like that so we shall see but i love that scent very very nice next up is moon milk that's what it looks like two ounce bottle 375. Hmm. it kind of reminds you of like coconut it's kind of nutty and another and yet very subtle though this is another subtle scent um which you know a lot of people like subtle scents like a lot of people don't really go for the bang in your pal fragrances um a lot of people get headaches or it just don't work um you know my husband's very very sensitive to strong scents so this is very nice though it's almost like this would be great in a lotion it's almost like a lotion it smells like something you would put on your hands or your body um very very nice scent though um, top notes are soft peach, coconut. Middle notes are gardenia, yang, and rose. And then the base note is vanilla. All of those notes are dead on. Like definitely the coconut. It has that nutty scent, but it also is very, has that soft vanilla sweet undertone as well. So I definitely get that. Um, and then the last one is queen of the night. That's what it looks like. I mean, Go over here, Queen of the Night, 375, two ounce bottle. Hmm. This, you know what? It's real perfumey, um, floral. It has a nice floral tone, um, kind of in that gardenia family, but very, very nice, sweet. And it reminds you like a roll-on. Like, you know those roll-ons? Like, I feel like roll-ons have that reputation. Like, it's just that scent that you get when you are passing through like a mall and you get, you pass through the roll-ons or the incense type area. It gives you that vibe. The top notes are Lily of the Valley, Black Plum. Middle notes are Queen of the Night, Lang Lang, Lang Violet, Jasmine, so the base notes are dark patchouli, sandalwood, cedar, musk. It's definitely musky. It gives you that nighttime vibe like you're going out night on town. Um, it has a little masculine hint to it too. And that's probably what the musk 
the sandalwood and the cedar. Um, it almost could pass for like a girl, like a woman's scent and a masculine scent, actually. This could really go both ways for a man or a woman, but it gives you that vibe like you're walking through the mall and you pass on the roll-on station. Like you all know it has that scent, you know what I mean? It reminds me of that, but it's very, very nice. This could pass for a masculine or a feminine scent for sure. Now on to Wick recommendations. So for the Montesiano glass, which was this one, they recommend using HTP 105. For the Aristocrat glass, they recommend using HTP 116 or HTP 126. And then for the Havana glass, they recommend HTP 126. Now this is the 14 ounce glass. The matte black and the matte white are also 14 ounce. So um, HTP 126 will most likely work well with those two. So if you are interested in checking out any of these vessels on their website, just know that they recommend the HT line of wicks. And then um, also it depends on your wax. But regardless, I always say test, 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 test. <laughs> um, if you are interested in any of these um, items or if you just want to check out um, General Wax and Candle Supply, make sure you check them out. I'm going to have their Instagram and their website in the description box. I want to thank you and give them a huge shout out for contacting me. Um, to do a collaboration. I truly enjoyed it. I actually cannot wait to play around with these fragrances and those vessels. I mean, just beautiful, right? This is gorgeous. I am just so in love. I loved all the scents. Um, I'm a little bit of everything kind of girl when it comes to fragrance oil. So all of these scents were bomb in my opinion. But everybody has their own sensitivity. Not everybody's a floral. Not everybody likes strong musky scents. Not everybody like woodsy. I'm a catch-all. I love them all. Um, I'm actually a girl that is a fan of woodsy and masculine scents myself. So to say that I say all that to say um, check them out I'm gonna have their information in the description box again thank you so much and if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe help your girl out all of my resources that you are interested in are also linked in the description box and yes yeah, so until next time bye